Well, family in Colorado now filing a lawsuit against the Larimer County Sheriff's Office saying this encounter with deputies led to a man's death. Brett Thompson was hit and killed by a car on I-25 after getting tased by a deputy. Our review of that encounter later found that the deputy's actions were justified. Good evening, I'm Karen Lee. And I'm Michael Spencer. That family now wants that deputy fired. Dylan Thomas is your reporter in Northern Colorado and joins us live tonight in Larimer County. Well, Dylan, the family says they admit their son made some mistakes. They also believe those mistakes didn't warrant putting his life further in danger. You know, the family tells us they realize their son was battling some issues when it came to drug use. And they also say he probably shouldn't have ran from deputies, especially onto I-25. But their main concern comes with the fact that a deputy discharged his taser, causing their son to be immobilized in the middle of traffic on I-25. It's been more than a year since their son lost his life. And still, David and Karen K. Thompson say they feel there hasn't been accountability. I would like to see justice for Brent. Right now you're under arrest. Obviously made a bad decision, but he didn't deserve what they did to him. Brent Thompson ran from Larimer County deputies after being pulled over for expired tags. He tried to run across I-25 in Fort Collins when a deputy deployed his taser, causing Thompson to fall into traffic. <laughs> a vehicle ran over Thompson, ending his life at just 28 years old. It was all cut short. You know, on a really, in my opinion, a petty offense. David Thompson said he saw the graphic video. My son got worried. He got scared. His eye, he was bright eyed. I'm sure he got scared and just bolted. An autopsy found Thompson had drugs like fentanyl in his system at the time of death. Though the district attorney decided not to prosecute the deputy or sheriff's office in the death, the family is now filing a civil lawsuit, which comes with a lower burden of proof in court. The family argues the crimes Thompson committed didn't warrant a foot pursuit or taser deployment and said the deputy should have let their son take his own risk by running toward I-25. He would have no responsibility or liability, but when he pulls a trigger, you take, you take it all in because you made that call. You actually subdued my son in the middle of, the state, of an interstate. This is, should have never, ever happened, and that's what should be addressed. The sheriff's office declined to interview with us, deciding pending litigation on this case. But they did send us a statement that re read in part, quote, the deputy was forced to make a choice with no easy answer. Act and try to stop the suspect or stand by passively and simply hope no innocent people got hurt, end quote. The sheriff's office tells us they have used this situation as an example and a training opportunity for their deputies. But they also note to us that the district attorney ruled that the deputy's actions were legally justified. Reporting live tonight in Larimer County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. Dylan, okay, thank you. Dylan doesn't just cover northern Colorado for you. He lives there, so make sure you send him any and all story ideas you have through our website. Just reach out to Dylan at cbscolorado.com. You can always call that tip line number right there. 303-863-TIPS.